Is this the dawn of a new era in robotics? Or something straight out of a sci-fi thriller? Meet Proto-Clone, the world's first bipedal musculoskeletal android. If you're unfamiliar with robotics, you may not understand why this bot is making headlines. After all, we've seen the likes of Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics' Atlas. What's one more humanoid robot to add to the list? However, with human-like muscles and tendons capable of over 200 degrees of freedom, 1,000 myofibers, and 500 integrated sensors, it is practically a synthetic human. But how exactly is it possible for any machine to mimic human movement with such precision? For starters, the team behind the proto-clone, Clone Robotics, are big players when it comes to biomimetic design. Instead of relying on traditional actuators and motors, like other robotics companies, they use composite materials to act as the strong yet lightweight skeletal frame which functions like human bones. Over that, they attach electroactive polymers and high-strength fibers that can contract and relax, mimicking natural muscle tissue. It also has tendons and ligaments that provide the bot with extra stability during movement. With these features combined, the team perfected a specialized clone hand, capable of waving and even holding a surgical blade with precision. They replicated the same technology late last year in designing a bimanual human torso. However, complete with 206 artificial bones, just like humans, the proto-clone is eerily capable of the grace and fluidity of a living being when it moves or walks. Now, hold on to your seats because there's more to this bipedal android than just an impressive musculoskeletal system. At its core, the protoclone has a 500-watt electric pump that acts like a heart, pushing 40 liters of fluid through a human-like vascular system per minute. The fluid acts a lot like blood as it moves through the robot's microchannels carrying repair agents for self-diagnostics, regulating its temperature, and even acting as a lubricant. Thus, the fluid helps the android maintain its staggering 200 degrees of freedom, which allows each joint to move independently and gives the robot fine motor control on an unprecedented level. With that level of precision, the team hopes it'll be able to help you complete household chores like washing dishes or doing the laundry. Besides, with over 500 sophisticated sensors helping it distinguish pressure and texture like a human, the proto-clone can easily adapt to its environment. Clearly, Clone Robotics has high hopes for their humanoid robot because their website features the tagline, Do it yourself once. Clone will do it forever. Of course, this line speaks to the Proto-Clone's telekinesis training platform, which allows the android to learn new skills by watching you. You can think of it as a human-sized toddler learning to pour drinks, clean, and even learn the layout of your house by following you around. However, with advanced AI and a complex sensor system, it'll eventually learn the best way to get around your home and complete chores without making a mess. At its full potential, later versions of these androids could even work in industrial settings or perform delicate surgical procedures with market precision. In a dystopian video that has gone viral, garnering over 50 million views since Clone Robotics posted it on their X page on February 19th, audiences reacted with a mix of fascination and terror, seeing the human-like android twitching as it hung suspended from the ceiling by wires. The haunting music in the background only helped to fan the flames that the invention of the protoclone is an ominous sign for humanity, with users saying things like, there is no good reason to try and create synthetic humanoids. It will never be a human, it will never have a soul. All this does is show further confusion in a generation that is already so lost about their identity and who they are. This is demonic and dystopian. They really watched all those futuristic AI robot apocalypse movies and said, hell yeah, let's do it. There's people that can't afford healthcare, groceries, and basic needs of life. And we're here building this. Humans are such an unserious species. Over on Reddit, the Android reception wasn't much better with one user saying, okay, this one crosses the line of being cute to straight up creepy. 
As a result, it is safe to say audience reaction to Proto-Clone has mostly skewed negative, with people wondering why we're not directing these resources to helping people in need, and others seeing it as the real-life prequel of a bad horror movie. I found one question most people kept repeating is simply, why? Not just the protoclone, but other humanoid robots pose intriguing questions about the impact of hyper-realistic androids on our society. Are we ready for a world where robots blur the line between machine and human? What's the purpose of creating a highly advanced dishwasher or home assistant that looks and moves like us? If anything, creating androids that are too realistic is only going to complicate human relationships further by making it easier to form attachments to these bots. There are already several studies showing that excessive smartphone use can negatively impact crucial social skills, and creating bigger machines in our likeness that can create a false sense of connection is only going to make it worse. At the end of the day, AI is still largely predictable. In a way, it would be a safer relationship because an Android bot programmed to help you will not leave you. Unfortunately, it's also more likely to make you leave your job. That brings me to another important question we should be asking ourselves before mass-producing these types of androids. If robots like Protoclone can perform human tasks with greater efficiency, what's to stop industries from relying solely on robots and eliminating their human workforce altogether? After all, ideally, these machines wouldn't need breaks, vacation days, or even wages after the upfront cost of purchasing them. Thus, it would make more economical sense for manufacturers and other employers of physical laborers to opt for these advanced AI robots, with only a few human supervisors and engineers to keep them running smoothly. However, for that to become a reality, companies like Clone Robotics would still need to work out a few kinks in their current design. For starters, while the Proto-Clone demonstrates remarkable amounts of flexibility with 200 degrees of freedom in its joints and a highly sophisticated 500 sensor network, we're still yet to see how it stacks up with real-time decision-making. A slight processing error or a sensory overload could still create jerky movements that a normal human would easily adapt to. Let's not forget that despite its human-like neuromuscular system, Protoclone is still a machine, and over time its parts are going to degrade, even those made of electroactive polymers. The truth is, keeping a complex system like that running for years will require special maintenance and diagnostic tools for repairs. And even then, the lifespan of these androids is still a question mark. We also have to consider that one of the biggest obstacles to mass-producing these robot androids is their battery life. As you might imagine, keeping their extensive network of sensors, actuators, and processing units running requires a lot of energy. For now, no one is running a sweatshop with these machines because they're still significantly less productive than humans, with a battery life averaging between two to four hours. While Clone Robotics hasn't said anything official about Protoclone's battery life, there's every reason to believe that they're still trying to work on an alternative energy source that can power these human-like androids for longer. Despite those shortcomings, there's no denying that Clone Robotics is blurring the lines of reality through their innovation. After all, the world's first full-scale humanoid robot didn't arrive until the late 60s, and with its clunky anthropomorphic design, it was a far cry from the fluid-like movements of Protoclone. Anything with human-like precision was still firmly science fiction until projects like Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics' Atlas started to arrive on the scene. But even at that, they're still oddly mechanical in their movement and are still easy to distinguish from a real person. On the other hand, with its biomimetic approach, Protoclone sets itself apart from all other humanoid inventions in its ability to mimic human movement with startling precision. Coupled with an advanced AI system that allows it to complete human tasks, it really blurs the line between us and robots. Unfortunately, that opens us up to several safety concerns. For example, three years ago, Clone shared a video on their official YouTube page of one of their biomimetic robotic arms lifting a 7-kilogram dumbbell. Thus, we have every reason to believe a human-sized android version would be just as strong, if not stronger, which means they could pose a real danger if it malfunctions and attacks you. Although the average man would most likely be able to overpower these bots, they could still pose a threat 
even if we remove sci-fi plot points like artificial intelligence gaining consciousness and trying to eliminate us, these robots would still be a major security risk. After all, with over 500 sensors, a hacker that gets into their system could easily spy on you and your family. They could also hijack the musculoskeletal system of the robot and control it remotely. To that end, Clone Robotics is installing emergency stop mechanisms and backup control systems to ensure users can override the protoclone in the event of a malfunction. They're also installing strong cybersecurity protocols in both the hardware and software layers to prevent hackers and ensure it's ready for safe operation. Besides those safeguards, they're working on a decentralized nervous system that can detect obstacles and human presence and even bypass the central control unit to react if needed. It's actually a lot like the human nervous system. Irrespective of these valid safety concerns and public apprehension, there's every reason to believe that for clone robotics, this is just the beginning. After all, the company envisions a future where every home and every industry has a humanoid assistant. As a result, the protoclone is only the first in a long, line of musculoskeletal androids we can expect to see. Right now, the company is taking pre-orders for their first 279 units of the Clone Alpha Edition, which also comes with a telekinesis training platform that will allow it to learn from its users. By putting their invention out into the real world and testing them in real-life scenarios, the company can use the data they gain to refine future models. For instance, while the Clone Alpha comes with pre-installed skills like making you a sandwich, perhaps the Clone Beta will be able to make more complex dishes like spaghetti bolognese or an entire roast turkey. With advanced AI, there might be no limit to what these robots can learn to do. And with their biomimetic design that gives them human-like fluidity, who's to say they wouldn't do it better than us? However, Protoclone's advancements in the home would most definitely catapult into other industries. Imagine robots working side by side with humans to perform complex surgeries, build our cities, and even entertain us. Also, think about how easy it is for others to replicate something once other people do it. Seeing Protoclone's breakthrough at home and in other industries, other companies would rush to recreate their own versions of the humanoid android, flooding the market with even cheaper versions quickly. We'd be bombarded by robots that look and move like us in our everyday life. It would be almost impossible to imagine a life without them, just like most of us can't live without our phones. AI-powered humanoid robots would be the next industrial revolution, and they would be here to stay. What are your thoughts on the proto-clone? Do you think it'll be a net positive for humankind, or did we just invent our replacement? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, and hit the like and subscribe button for more updates on the latest developments in AI.